And it's also my mm, friend and long-term writing partner, Helen's birthday today. So, happy birthday, Helen. Some interesting conversations I had with, with Helen today, actually following on from the point the points that I made yesterday when I, I went on about the whole supply and demand question and that people wouldn't provide things unless someone was buying them. The old, you know, and the same applies to um, rubbish but very shallow um, journalism to, um, to drugs or prostitution. And I don't know, I mean, do you make everything legal? And leave people to make informed choices about how good or bad um, that thing is for them, and allow them to ruin their own lives if they so desire, actually, and at their own leisure and at their own cost. But at least take something back for it. Um, or do you not? Do you go the complete way? Because I mean, you know, we all we all use some form of stimulant or other, whether it's whether it's um, coffee or tea or you know cigarettes or or alcohol. Most people use some form of crutch, which in itself is a sad thing. We we all have habits that that we use in order to get us through our day or our week and just our lives in general, which again shows an inherent but perfectly normal weakness, I guess. Um, it doesn't matter what it is, does it? Whether it, whether it's cigarettes, whether it's alcohol, whether it's coffee, um, whether it's you know whether it's cannabis or, or whatever it's, um, it's why 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 does someone feel that they need to use that substance in order to validate themselves or in order to feel better or just to escape their lives? I mean, the alternative, isn't it, is, is of course kind of like something like the prohibition era in the. In the in the states where they tried to make alcohol legal and or they, where they made alcohol legal and and all that did was um, give the power to a massive criminal element. There's the answer got to be somewhere in between and like everything else in life, it's all a question about actually where on that line you 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 mark your cross. Where where do you kind of like where are you on that spectrum? Here, really here, and and I guess what what are your views on you know what are your views on liberalism? Because do you believe in the right of other people to actually destroy their own lives? Is that actually a given right? Um, as long as they're not hurting somebody else, is that is that okay? Do they do that, or or do you feel obliged? Or do you feel that that's not okay? Do you feel that people shouldn't be allowed? Does the freedom to self-determinate include the ability to self-destruct? Because we all do at some point or another, don't we? We all um, either inconceivably or conceivably press that self-destruct button um, for our lives to come crashing around us. And usually there's a, there's a friend or a family member or someone that, that will stop us actually of making that fatal decision that, that would be from a point that you can't come back from is actually having the freedom to live or the right to live in freedom does that actually include the right to actually end that life if you so choose we're a funny bunch aren't we humans um, we're complicated and simple at the same time 